Hello, hopefully you're doing pretty well today. My name is Debra and welcome to my channel, Crafty Chalk and Creations. I'm an independent designer of Chalk Couture and I'm making this video today to let you know that this transfer, it's a size 8 transfer, which means it's a 5 by 7 is Last Chance on Chalk Couture's website. They did not give a specific date on when this would be pulled, but I wanted to do a quick video demonstrating this transfer. That way you would have an opportunity to get this transfer. When, uh, as long as it's available on the website. It's yay for today. Like I said, I don't have a specific date. I wish I did. Today is March 21st. So I'm hoping it will still be available by the time you see this. Um, if not, um, sorry. But uh, if you did, yay. I hope you, yay for today. Hopefully you got it. So uh, I'm gonna get. I'm gonna put this on the blackboard and base. This is a reusable surface. It can go horizontal or vertical like that. This is a transfer I put on here. I have this on my shelf. I'm going to be using the back side. It is double-sided. So I'll be using that. Um, I had in the um, beginning photograph a mini squeegee and I thought I'm doing this all one color so I'm just going to use the small squeegee. There's the size difference. Anything that I am using from Chalk Couture, as long as it is available at the time of me posting this video, I will post it and a shopping cart link down below. Now that shopping cart link, you can add or subtract things to it, change, you know, change things out. And I'm going to be using the um, Shimmer Melon paste. That is a really pretty kind of peachy pink color. And the fuzzing cloth. Now if you don't have a fuzzing cloth, uh, you are welcome to use like a t-shirt, a sweatshirt, um, a towel, something that's going to take some of the stick off the back of these transfers because they are reusable and they are sticky. Now I've already used this one. Now when you first get your transfer, go ahead, it comes in a plastic sleeve, okay? And it has a reusable flap, a resealable flap. It has care and use instructions on it. Keep that because you can use it for storage. And your transfer comes on a backing sheet. Now I wrote on the back of it already, this is the matte side and the side that your transfer is on is on the shiny side. And you mark it so that way, if you get busy, you're not paying attention, you don't adhere it to the wrong side. Um, like I said, these are sticky. I've used this before, but I'm still going to give this a good fuzzing. Now the surface over here on that board and base, it does have a slight texture to it. But you still want to be sure to fuzz to take some of that tack off because if it is sticks to your surface too well, you could possibly stretch and ruin your transfer. And you would like to try to get as much use out of them as possible. So I'm going to do this uh, probably another one or two times. And there we go. Now if any point, I'm going to put this aside, any point that you like this video, I would greatly appreciate it if you would subscribe, uh, like the video, you know, give it a thumbs up, and also go ahead and hit that notification bell so that way you will be notified whenever I do a video. Now, the board and base does have some depth to it. Hopefully you can see that. So I like to go ahead and put leave my, my board in the base. So that way I'm not putting my transfer too low and possibly covering up some of my design. And I just do that temporarily until I get this position. Now, if you like things to be precise and symmetrical, you are more than welcome to measure. I don't do it. I eyeball if it's a little crooked, just a little, just tilt your head sideways. All right, I think that looks pretty good, so I'm going to remove my base. I have an extra towel here. This is why I put my transfers on, and I spritz it down until I can get it to the sink and get it clean. Now, what I do is I put my finger in the middle. I go up, down, and then I go side to side, and then I smooth out with my hands. Okay, and why you do that is because you want to make sure there aren't any, like, little fuzzies underneath there or any lumps, wrinkles, air bubbles, or anything like that that are preventing your transfer from making good contact. And if you like, you can use your mini or your small squeegee, and you can go over it just to make sure it's nice and smooth and you have got good contact to your surface. Um, I'm going to grab a towel really quick so that way this is not sliding around on me. Now I'm going to be using Shimmer Melon. I did not, I was, I was a bad girl, I did not stir my paste before I started. But that is a gorgeous color. 
All right, I'm just gonna dip my squeegee in. And this is quick and easy, and this transfer, like I said, this is a last chance. I'm hoping they have it up there for at least a couple more days. Uh, that way you have an opportunity to, to get one if you like it. But the bevel side, I generously apply. Oh, look at that color. Oh, it's gorgeous. I'm, I don't know if you can, this is capturing it on the camera. That nice shimmer and that peachy pink color. But oh, it's beautiful. I generously apply it to my surface. I'm using the jar. I believe they also have shimmer melon and singles. I'll list both of them. That way you can decide if you want the jar or if you want the single color in the paste. And then I scrape off the excess. You see how you can see that transfer coming through? That way you know you have good, even coverage. Oh, that is just, yeah, that is a very pretty color. Very pretty. Okay, and now it's time for the peel and reveal. I start at the corners and start up the middle. And then I pull from the center and you slowly pull it back. So that way, if you may have missed something, you can lay it back down and touch it up. Oh, that is pretty. So you need a little sign like this for, you know, to have posy vibes that day. Or some encouragement for somebody that might just, you know, like a little pick me up or something to celebrate. And you just want to go yay for today. This would be perfect for that. Now I'm going to let this air dry, and that's what it will look like in the in the base. Now the bases are stained brown. You can paint these on any color you like. If you don't want the shimmer melon, you can use any other color. In that shopping cart, you can put you know, remove this one and put a different color in there. You are in control of what colors you like. I'm just trying to give you inspiration ideas, and I want to let you know about the last chance on getting this transfer. Okay, thank you so much for watching.